Nine deaths on the road so far this year, eight of them involving pedestrians, a trend of great concern in Hamilton. Be at nine or eight deaths, and we're just in, in, in April, that doesn't cut it. Hamilton's Kojo Dempte has launched a petition representing Mountain residents looking for Hamilton City Hall to respond to the rash of deadly collisions with more calming measures, road audits, and stronger public awareness campaigns for safer driving. Regardless of whether it's a blip or if it's behavior or whatever, um, our city needs to address the issues. The latest death, 42-year-old Glenn Harrison Clark of Hamilton. He died in hospital yesterday after he was struck by a vehicle heading southbound on Upper Wentworth Street on Friday. Hamilton police say Clark was struck right here in this area near the link at around 2 a.m. Friday. The driver then fled the scene and police tell us that they found the vehicle, but no word yet on if a driver's been charged. Three days earlier, renowned conductor Boris Brat was hit and killed. The week before, while walking home from school, a 14-year-old girl was seriously injured in a collision on Dundurn in Maine. And four people, three who were pedestrians, were killed in a horrific car crash at King in Maine the week prior. Uh, eight's, eight's a huge number uh, in Hamilton. I know my, my 30 years on the job and my last 15 in traffic, eight, eight is a huge, is a big number. A retired traffic officer with Hamilton Police, Claus Wagner, says even though some of the crashes this year have been criminal acts, behavioral trends like less attentiveness and aggressive speeding are problematic. There's a reason we've dropped the speed limit throughout the city down to 40. Just that 10 kilometers an hour makes a huge difference in your stopping distance. The fact that everybody's in a hurry, we have distracted driving, we have speeding, um, the roads are clogged more now. Director of Training with Young Drivers Canada, Scott Marshall, says while drivers must still do their part in road safety, traffic infrastructure is in need of upgrading. Some of the sidewalks are narrower. I mean, I walk through the downtown core. Sometimes there's a lot of pedestrians. You've got to pause and wait, but some will walk onto the road because they can't get by. All streets across the city should have some buffer, whether it's actual barriers or whether it's actual space. Jason Guidola, CHCH News, Hamilton.